versus any other city in uh, in Europe, in Spain, it's because of the rich culture that uh, the Madrid has. Uh, you're able to experience a lot of the government buildings, and you're able to uh, go to amazing museums here, and uh, national museums. Here. International city. Um, I live in. Um, a barrio called La Vies, where um, it's really international and there's so many different cultures and there are a lot of different types of people here and that's what I love. It's also it. the center of Spain so you can, uh, it's easy to travel everywhere. Um, the whole like, the whole district thing about in Madrid, there's just so many different areas. There's a bohemian area, there's the gay district, there's the, the, the preppy district, there's just so many different places you could explore to go out and that's it's amazing it's a great place to actually practice Spanish with locals when I first got to Madrid it was a little overwhelming but in the best way possible because it's just this big city that I felt like I could explore endlessly and there's just so much to do and so many people and I personally love New York and big cities like that and it sort of reminded me of that so I was really happy to be here um, and now once I've been here for about a month I I'm really enjoying the city. There's so much culture, so many different neighborhoods. I feel like, I still feel like there's so many things I have left to see. And what I love most, though, is the people here. You know, you walk down the street and everybody says, Hola, como estas, que tal? And it's like, it's just a very friendly atmosphere, even though it's such a big cosmopolitan setting. The more I, I explored and the more I just got to know the city, I found out that there's way much more to see uh, than just the tourist spots and what you need to do is just go out there and have no regrets and don't worry about having a game plan or anything, you just go out and explore and go in all the intricate little streets and you'll find tons of, uh, of culture and you'll just understand what the real Spanish lifestyle is. I chose to go on EAP because it was just the easiest thing to do in terms of choosing a program to go abroad with. Um, all of the classes transfer and you get to meet people from your own school and from the other UC. so I know that the friendships that I make here will be able to continue and we're all back in California. And the EAP people at Berkeley are really, really helpful and there's a whole support system here in Madrid, so it's been a really positive experience and I'm really happy with my choice. I think just as a person it's, it's important to be able to grow out of what you're comfortable with and be able to go out and meet other people and be in that environment where you're not so comfortable um, to some degree. It's, it's a growing experience and it's necessary. Um, and you, you'll notice later that you definitely um, benefit a lot from it, especially in the work field um, and everything else. So personally it was just something I felt like I had to do. It is my last semester in college and so I felt like it was something that I had to do in the spring um, before I didn't have any other opportunity to do it. So I feel very fortunate to be able to do classes are smaller um, and it's easier for you to talk to a professor and get to know the professor and get to know your classmates um, and yeah I like that I participate more here than I do in my university which is funny because we have to speak Spanish here so people are really nice they're really helpful um, and it seems like they're they're really comfortable with or they welcome um, people who want to study abroad and what I've really liked about this program is because I was also in Chile last semester, so I have like a lot of things to compare it to. But what I feel like I really liked, and it's not that this was missing in Chile, but I feel like it's really present here, is that I think we have a really, really good staff. One of my favorite places here in Carlos Tercero, it's the, it's the library. It looks like a coliseum, and uh, the hours are work really well with everybody else's schedule. You're able to come before, after class. And Carlos Tercero is uh, one of the more modern universities in Spain. Um, I'm sorry, in Spain and in Madrid also. Um, it has uh, very up-to-date facilities. There's very nice gyms here. Um, the buildings are all very new. There's lots of uh, computer centers. Uh, also, the professors here, um, they, uh, they care about their students. Uh, for example, I'm taking one class, uh, Medio Ambiente. Uh, it's the uh, Environment and Society of Spain. And we have three excursions with the professors in that class. Uh, they take us to areas around Madrid and also a little bit more north, such as Segovia. Um, and it's a, it's a very interesting class. We get to learn the dynamics about Spain. 
Um, also, I'm taking another interesting class. It's called Colloquial Spanish, and although it might be like a little bit difficult because it's a lot of new vocabulary, it's very helpful here because it helps you integrate into Spanish society uh, by learning the kind of slang that uh, local Spaniards use here. One of my favorite classes here on campus is called Técnicas de Expresión Oral y Escritas. It's pretty much the equivalent, equivalent of like English 101 or R1A and it's amazing because the class is pretty small. It's about 15 students and out of all the students like half were Spanish. There was like five Americans. There was like a girl from Venezuela, a girl from Italy, a girl from Ireland. So it was completely international. But there's one class, Literatura del Siglo de Oro, which I really, it's my favorite class. It's the one that has the most reading. I have a reader about that big. It's the biggest read I've ever had, but um, I like the professor a lot. The class is very great. I love it. It's especially because the professor makes it worth being there. And the professor is yeah, Manuel, and he gives a, gives very, gives, has, very, a lot of enthusiasm for the class. So that class is one of my favorites. Uh, so the, I took a mini course uh, about astrophysics and it was actually different because mini courses are with Spanish students only as opposed to the, the other classes that I'm taking which is with mostly North American students. So it was a totally different experience especially because the professor was used to talking to only Spanish, so he would talk at a very fast pace, expect us to understand a lot of Spanish. But, um, so there was definitely an adjustment period for me, but after a week or two I got used to it and um, also met some, it's a good way to meet uh, Spanish students as well because you're surrounded by Spanish students. And uh, yeah, it was definitely an interesting experience. Do, if you have the opportunity to take a class with Spanish students, like don't even think about it twice, go for it. I really recommend this school. It's it's growing. There's a lot more to expect. Um, it's a very great and, and very awesome school and very friendly. Um, it's wonderful to be around here. <laughs> Is that the, there are two campuses and they are s uh, separated from each other? Uh, so that means we have to commute from one to another, and it's the adventure of having to take a bus, running to another bus stop, and having to take the metro. And it's just a different event, it's an adventure and something different that we're not used to back home. Complutense, they asked us one question What do you hope to find in your university? For some, it was simply classes. Since there is no pre-registration for classes, you need to look up the schedule which is posted on the boards in the hall or online. Once you find the class that you want, it's time to go to the department or facultad that the class is actually taken in. Depending on the classes you're taking, you may be going to a lot of different facultades all over Ciudad Universitaria, which is the name of the campus. It's just a whole different atmosphere than any other school in California. It's just more Also, I think the the classrooms are more personable. The teacher knows your name. In California, we have 300 student classrooms. Here, at most, it's like 20 students. So the teacher knows who you are, and so they help out if you're falling behind, especially since it's harder for students like me who are learning this in their third language. And I guess the last thing are the people. The people here are kind. They're really nice. They'll help you out. Um, what I like most about the University of Complutense is that it's a really beautiful campus and it's really big. Um, I'm from UC Irvine, so my campus is a lot smaller and I really feel like you get that university vibe here. and. In, I mean, in Madrid in general, everyone's just chilling outside, but here, like when the weather's really nice, the students are sitting outside and talking, and it just has a really great vibe to it. Um, um, some differences between Complutense and the University of California, I would say, is that the system of picking your classes is very different. Um, 
here it's more like a trial and error. You kind of have to go to class and see if you like it, and if you like it, then you give like a card to your teacher. Um, whereas I feel like at the University of California, you have a system online where you enter the code and you take that class and whatnot. It's um, a huge campus. Um, the classes are actually really small, which I like because you have more of an opportunity to meet other students and um, you can meet people from other countries because there's a lot of foreigners also studying here, but also gives you a good opportunity to meet with Spaniards, um, which will help you practice your Spanish as well. So yeah, and also like because the classes are small, like one of my classes, the professor knew everybody, so it was kind of nice. You could go and talk to her and um, she would recognize you and know your face. I personally felt that the staff here at Madrid um, with the EAP was very helpful. Um, some people might say like in the beginning of the program you have to find your own housing. So people might say that that's a, a bit difficult because like people don't really help you. But for me I thought that was a really good experience and I know that if you went to go ask personally they would help you find something. One of my favorite classes that I'm taking currently is um, called Security and International Relations and it's in the campus of Somos Aguas which is where you have all your poli sci and sociology classes um, or the social sciences but it's a really good class it's structured really well and the topic is really interesting um, we talk about security so if you're an international studies major or a poli sci major it's a really good class to take after about four weeks of waiting and searching, I finally found the classes I want to take. And they include topics on history of Spain in the 20th century, the cultural anthropology of Spain, and the social structure of Spain. If you're thinking of coming to Complutense for a year, stop thinking and just do it because it'll be an experience that you'll never forget. It's amazing here. It's it's just being here from the summer where I thought I knew everything already, every place to go, and to now I've discovered so many different restaurants, people, bars, there's just so many hidden treasures in the city that it takes more than a year actually to actually know it all. And it's a great experience. You go out there by yourself, you learn more about yourself, you learn more about another culture, you learn another language. What's, what's not to love? I decided to stay here for a year because Really, one semester is not enough. Um, for me and everyone that I've talked to, we felt like towards the end of the first semester, we still hadn't fallen in love with Spain and with Madrid. And now I can say that I totally love Madrid and um, I really don't want to leave. And, and it's been a consensus, I feel like, with everyone that I've talked to who are staying here for the year. They didn't have as good of a first semester, but now they're really enjoying themselves. It's just something that you will never regret. So I strongly advise for you to just get out of your couch, get out of wherever, wherever you're at, and just go to the EAP office. And if you can, sign up for Madrid. After a week or so, you start to feel like Madrid is home. <laughs> well, if anyone were to ask me if they should come to Madrid, I would say just do.